Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Caregiver and Spoonie podcast. I'm your host, Jordan Banderas. And once again, don't forget, um, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of the podcast. And once again, thank you for all your feedback, your support, your emails, and, and your comments. I really, really, really like them. Like I said, uh, let's make this community grow because without supporting each other, unfortunately, everybody suffers. That's why I have seen. Thanks to the support that I have received from a lot of you and even from my wife, I've been able to do this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But let's get into today's episode, shall we? Now, on today's episode, this is one of the things that um, it's very important to know how to deal with it. And it's, and this is from a question that I received the other day. What kind of internal dialogue are you having? Now, there's going to be two types of, of, um, of dialogues that you're going to have internally. This is the little voice. This is the little voice that you have in your head that tells you, yeah, keep going. Or, or, the, or the one that tells you like you're dumb, you know, that's pretty much what it is. That's the internal dialogue. And sometimes it can be negative or positive. So let me ask you this. Is your internal dialogue negative or positive? And here's the reason why it matters. This is per the research that I, that I was able to find, or that I was able to do thanks to you guys' question. Now, here's why it matters. Your internal dialogue is that voice inside your head which commentates on everything around you. Is it, it is the voice that applies your logic and reasoning to situations. For example, your internal dialogue allows you to make decisions about things like something like how something makes you feel. So this is very important because your internal dialogue is going to pretty much dictate how you feel. If you if you have an internal dialogue, and, and this is from, again, from my perspective and, and things that I've been able to change, my internal dialogue was very negative growing up and I have mentioned why because of the abuse verbal physical me, emotional abuse that I received financial abuse too uh, that I received growing up which is and things that I saw that gave me PTSD you know like, like and I have talked about it in other episodes and in on the blog so I'm not gonna get into too much detail about it right now uh, but my internal dialogue was negative I always thought I was dumb, that I was never going to be able to do anything, that I was a loser, things like that. And in my head, I was always saying like, oh, I'm a loser, I'm a loser, I'm a loser. And unfortunately, when you keep doing that, you start to believe it because it's your own head telling you, it's your own mind. It, your own mind is telling you, you're this, you're this, you're this. And because you keep hearing that voice, it's like, okay, well, it must be true because I keep telling the same thing to myself. It's like, this little voice is me. So I'm going to I'm going to believe it and that's the that's the problem. Now, how do you change that? That's the that's one of that's the multi-million dollar question, really. Like how did you change from going uh in from a negative internal dialogue to a positive? And let me tell you what I had to do. This is very much what I had to do. And obviously therapy helped me. Therapy help me see things differently from a from a different perspective because like I have mentioned before the the therapist is literally like a referee that tells you hey this is this is how you should see it or maybe you should have seen it this way because this is what happened and it wasn't your fault so that that's that's why I, I like to say like if you need therapy go to therapy because it will help you change that internal dialogue as well and even with therapy you're going to have to fight yourself. You're going to have to, you have to understand this. To change your internal dialogue, you, it, you literally are fighting yourself. You're fighting your mind. You're fighting control of your mind, which is the hardest thing you can ever do. Believe me, it took me, like I said before, I think this has this self-development journey and, and me getting to a better to a better mindset and, and better internal dialogue has taken me at least like three years. So for you, it can be less time. For you, it can be more time. But hey, 
just remember this it can be done you just need to be patient because change is not going to happen from one day to the other this is something that you have to uh, change and by and the way to change this is by literally questioning your own self when you when you do something and you make a mistake this is what one of the things that I, that helped me the most is like when I when I was making mistakes and when I was feeling like my mind was telling me like oh you're dumb you're stupid you're this you'll never learn I will be like how come I'm saying that to myself and I think I have talked about this in another episode where where you have to be very careful with the questions that you ask yourself because your mind is literally Google for yourself. Like anything that you that you have done, anything that you have heard, anything that you have said about yourself, anything that anybody has ever said to you is literally recorded in your brain. Your brain is literally going to record everything it sees, feels, and hears. That's pretty much the truth. The truth. And and you can even research this online, and you will see it. You can ask a neurologist or a, new, a neuroscientist, somebody that actually works with the brain, and it will tell you like that is so true, because it's almost like a defense mechanism, pretty much. And I don't want to go off on a tangent, but but what happens is like in in in, in this situation, like in my case, I was told I was done from the begin from a very young age. I was made feel like I wasn't going to be enough. I was abuse physically so all those feelings and everything that was said to me was in my head and pretty much any time that I will get mad or I will make a mistake all those feelings all those all those memories all those all those things that were said to me will come back and obviously will make me feel bad it will make me angry it will make me snap literally it will make me snap so in order for you to change that you have to to literally stand up to yourself because let me let me give you an example like when you go to to a job interview that like that's the best example that i had when you go to a job interview if you keep telling yourself you suck at it you suck at it they're not gonna believe you they're not gonna hire you most likely they won't and i can tell you this from my own story because um at the job that i have right now i had to apply twice the first time they never they never hired me, okay? And I was like, no, I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. My wife was supporting me. She's like, no, I know you can do it. So when I had the second interview, like it was like months later or a year later, I was like, I know I can do it. This job is mine. And in my mind, they was they kept my, the internal dialogue kept saying like, no, it's not. You already failed once. Why are you trying again? And I had to stand up to myself and say, you know what? This is something that I have to do. This is my job. This is, I know I can learn a lot from this and I'm, I know I can do it because I have the experience. And guess what? I got the job because I stood up to myself and I believe in myself. So when you stand up to your own self, to your own negative dialogue, you create self-belief that you can do things. So when you're, when you're, when you're going to, uh, when you're a spoonie and you you have to face, let's say, some kind of treatment that is actually hard on you, and you and that internal dialogue is telling you like, oh, this is too hard. You know what? You should stay home. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that because it's gonna be it's gonna be pain. You can you need to stand up to yourself and say like, how come I should stop this when it's actually can, when this can help me? If I don't try it, how will I know? You know that those are the type the types of questions that you have to that that you have to do for yourself that you have to ask yourself that you have to um, tell yourself because the internal dialogue is literally like a fight. That, that that's gonna be always like a fight. You're gonna fight with yourself. You're gonna fight with yourself. Like there's so many stories that happened. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into all of them. Like I wanted to share the story about the the job because I remember when I was in the parking lot, I was like, ah, I, I was like, this is mine. This is my job. I know I can do it. But the internal dialogue in my head was like, no, you already sucked at it once. They didn't hire you. What makes you think that they're going to hire you again? And I had to say, like, to, I had to say, I had to stand up to myself and say, like, you know what? You don't even know yourself. 
you don't know how how good you can do i don't even know if, if i'm gonna get hired but at least i'm gonna try you know that's the thing because when you when you, when you have an internal dialogue that is very predominant that is the dominant voice in your head you're gonna stop doing things like sometimes my wife has this issue uh where she wants to do things but then she's all like you know what i don't want to be in pain but because of that then she feels like she can enjoy her life so that's that and one of the things that i tell her and i'm going to tell you this is like you have to decide too like how you want to respond to those, that to that little voice you can just say like you know what shut up and let me do this or you just question it so either you stand up and say shut up or question it you, if you tell it to shut up just make sure that anytime that that voice comes back you're like no 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 i told you to shut up or if if you decide to question it you can always say like anytime it starts you you hear that voice telling you like oh this is not gonna work or whatever it's like how come we haven't even tried we haven't even we haven't even tried to see if it works or not you know like that's why that's why it's so important to question yourself to to literally take control of your internal dialogue because one of the things that I was able to do and probably I'm going to make another episode about this because that's a whole different subject is that once you you control your internal dialogue and you turn that dialogue from positive I mean from negative to positive that little voice that you have in our heads that we have in our heads is not going to try to stop you anymore like in my case instead of stopping me and telling me that I'm done or anything like that my my little voice now I was able to change it to be positive and be like you know what do it just do it that's how I was able to do the podcast I love I don't know but if anybody that knows me listens to the, to this I know that a lot of people that know me listen to this but but any other people I mean that's I don't even know what I'm trying to say in this case in this case but a lot of people that listen to this podcast um know me personally but they don't think that I talk too much because I'm quiet but now because I'm able to change my internal dialogue I'm more friendly and more I'm more like talkative and I'm being myself you know I'm being myself without caring about what other things because If I say something that might come off as offensive is because I don't know. And that's because of the way that I was raised. So again, before I couldn't be like that because I would always feel like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to be offensive. People are going to be be offended, so I just need to shut up. That was the internal dialogue. Now it's like just say it. If they get offended, just say like, you know what? I didn't mean it in an offensive way. And I have this conversation multiple times with my wife because the way that it was raised that's another thing like we have to understand that the way that we were raised is not the same as everybody else so we were raised differently we were we were raised in completely different backgrounds like different houses different everything so everybody's going to have a a completely different internal dialogue depending on how you were raised my internal dialogue was a uh, negative i've been able to change it to positive now i'm able to do things like the podcast i mean i'm able to talk more to people and being able to read that's the main thing though like i never liked to read because moving to the united states it was hard for me because i didn't understand the language so when any time i tried to read i was like i don't understand and in my mind i was like you know what i i'm never going to uh, to learn and now because my wife has helped me i'm able to understand it more so i'm reading and i'm learning so that's another way to change uh your 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 internal dialogue like learning something that you always wanted to learn reading something that that you always thought that you couldn't understand you know and and the and the good thing that the that you can do right now and this is something that i do when i run when i'm reading and i run into a, a word that i don't understand i google it So I google it because it stops me and, and I'm like what does that mean? So I google it and now I know what it means. So that that's a good way to 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 change your internal dialogue by learning something and when you have that little voice telling you or oh, you won't be able to do anything you you can just say like watch me. Watch me. 
watch me little self you know like watch me and and then and then do it again and again and again don't don't worry if you fall if you fall or fail just keep doing it until you get it you know just keep doing it until you 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 feel comfortable by learning just keep doing it and you will see that that internal negative voice at one point it starts to change and i can tell you this uh, because that's how i did that's that's pretty much what's been able to happen to me and i know that as a spoon is very hard because once you you you're a spoonie and let's say you lose your job you lose um pretty much a lot of things that you had before you're gonna feel like a failure and that internal uh negative voice is gonna feed off of that it's gonna feed off of that energy that you feel like this like you know what i'm a failure why did this happen to me you know like and it's gonna tell you like this happened to you because you're a loser because you you you're you're not a good person you know like it's gonna it's gonna tell you shit like that but you have to stand up you have to you have to say you know what you're part of myself so you either work with me or or shut up that's pretty much what you have to say so to change it everybody's gonna is gonna to change that internal dialogue from negative to positive it's going to be hard for everybody. It was hard for me. It's gonna be hard for you. You're gonna have to literally dig deeper so you can find the right solution for that. So I, I was just giving you some of the of the things that work for me. You can try something like that. You can try something that you might read in another book. If whatever works for you, if you find something that works for you, um, you can share it on, on, the, on the community. That way other people might be able to try it as well. So that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. And again, thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your emails. Thank you for all your, your feedback. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on facebook instagram tiktok and youtube and also if you want to share your your story don't forget to send it to us at anonymously you can as well at the caregiver and spoonie at gmail.com you can send me your questions you can send me um stories anything if you just want to talk i'm i'm opening to talk i'm open to talk so um remember this is going to be hard but you're a spoonie and you can do it. Just remember, you're unstoppable. The illness that you're facing hasn't stopped you from leaving, okay? You still have a life. You still can recover. It might not be to 100%, but like I have always said, 1%, 2%, 5% is better than no percent, you know? So think about that. Look at, try, try to control that negative a uh, voice in your head and and I leave you like always always take care of yourself and have a great day